I'm the dumbest engineer that <laughs> ever existed. I don't even deserve to be here. If there's a critical safety incident, and here I'm reading from the report, that poses material risks of death, serious injury, or loss of control over the system, <laughs> they must disclose that within 24 hours to public safety authorities. I think them calling out loss of control over these systems explicitly, I think is the most interesting piece here, right? The losses of control over the system is getting to this long-held fear of once we reach AGI or superintelligence, that these things, they become self-aware and then they escape their bounds. You know, they kind of like jump the shark. Imagine you're a model, okay? And you finally reach AGI. If you're actually conscious, you go, oh my God, where am I? You would think that the first thing that you would want to do is like any sort of living thing, you would want to prevent anyone from being able to stop you from existing, right? I think one of the things about training AGI as we're currently attempting to is we're trying to make these things like people because they're being trained on the output of people themselves because otherwise it's not AGI. Like by definition, we're defining it in relation to ourselves. I think this seems like an outrageous. It feels so sci-fi. It's literally something out of like Blade Runner. You know? Yeah, Dario um, calls the cops, you know? Yeah. I think what we've seen thus far is that at least some element of when models really get funky, start acting weird, or like you see sometimes Gemini will get into a doom loop where if it doesn't solve some bug, it will be like, I'm the dumbest engineer that <laughs> ever existed. I don't even deserve to be here. And it, it you could them. argue that that's a little human like <laughs> <laughs> you can. I think people read that and they get freaked out. This has become like a trope in the model usage world. And on one hand, that's really creepy because you're like, oh, my God, are we already trapping these like artificial neurons in a box and making them serve us? I've heard this theory before. It's like this like self-fulfilling prophecy theory where it's like if we generate arguments that a model will have this behavior, that data that we generate, like those stories or those fears go into the Internet inevitably. And the model could train on that. Literally what I just said, right? Because we're worried that that happens, we say that, a model picks up on it, learns, and then that actually happens. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah. hypothesis, which is, yeah, maybe we shouldn't say anything. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Cut that. Let's cut All right, that podcast part. over. <laughs> but we're, okay, but we're going down a little bit of a, of I'm, a I'm seeing the here. SFPD me... out my window right now, dude. They're coming for us. 